Hey, can I place an order, please? Absolutely. Can I get your name, please? Uh, yeah, my name is Brian. Great, Brian. What would you like to order today? Uh, I would like to order one combination pork and two Thai tea drinks. Got it. That's one combination pork and two Thai tea. Do you have any special instructions for your order? Uh, yeah, can I have, like, absolutely nothing spicy in my sandwich, please? Of course. I'll make sure there's nothing spicy in your combination pork sandwich. Would you like to receive a text update for your order? Um, sure, why not? Yeah. Can I get your phone number, please? Yeah, my phone number is 415-361-7810. Just to confirm, that's 415-361-7810. When will you be picking up your order? Uh, I'll be picking up my order, like, let's try 2 p.m. today. Let me confirm your order. One combination pork with no spicy ingredients, $8. Two Thai teas, $5 each. Your total comes to $18. Everything looks good. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. This will just take a sec. All right, Brian. Your order will be ready for pickup at 2 p.m. today. Thanks for ordering with Bonnie House. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so let's let's see if it actually registered in the the spreadsheet I made. So, yeah, as you can see here, we have combination pork, like I ordered, uh, one quantity and two Thai tea drinks, and it captured the total price, which is um eight dollars and ten dollars, and then uh, we also got the special notes and the pickup time correct, two p.m. Uh, so let's. Let's check out more about this. So this video is going to be about me showing you guys how uh, you can make an order order automation voice assistant for a restaurant or even like a small takeout place. And if you don't, if you're new to this channel, I'm going to explain quickly who I am. Um, I'm Brian. I'm founder of DSA Agency and I'm 17 years old. I'm from SF and I build AI restaurant assistant for restaurants. Um, I'm documenting my journey to success on YouTube and hopefully maybe would help other people in, within my same age on their journey as well. So let's see real quick. Here's the benefits of order automation. You miss fewer calls and you get more orders. So you don't lose as much revenue anymore because staff couldn't pick up the phone. So AI takes all the orders like instantly and it's available 24 seven, which is one of the main selling points. Customers can place orders anytime, even outside of business hours. And it's fast service, happy customers. You don't have to wait long times. Uh, you just call the phone and it'll answer right away. And the AI processes the order within seconds. But like, yeah, humans, sometimes they miss calls. They're not consistent. Implementing the AI also cuts down on labor costs. You don't need to hire extra staff just for taking phone orders. Um, AI will handle all that for free, basically. Or for like, really cheap. And also you guys could, upsell like crazy if you have voice AI you could you could even train it to um to speak a certain way you could even like have it speak a different language uh AI yeah, can suggest add-ons like drinks or desserts and like for employees human employees you have to train them on how to upsell or how to, you have to train them on how to act a certain way but for AI it, ju it just locks in right there the AI voice agent can handle a lot of calls like at the same time so that's really good for uh, restaurants or take up places that have really hot hours or busy days. They can't handle all these calls at once. Yeah, it just takes it all at once, yeah. So your staff aren't overwhelmed as much during rush hours. They can focus more on actually delivering to your customers. What AI voice agents, like it's really, really easy to um, implement or integrate. Um, you just connect it with the Square with the Square or whatever POS system you guys have, like OpenTable, um, and it's really easy to track and manage orders. That's the benefits of Voice AI. So now we're gonna see quickly the flowchart of how this actually works. So as you saw earlier, I placed the I, I placed the call, and the AI voice agent it answers and greets the customer and asks for the order, and then it'll gather information like uh, what you want to order preferences or and it'll gather like your name and information um, and then the AI will structure it into a system friendly format so it could be ready to pass it on over to uh, mate.com so yeah it just passes on and then the webhook receives the order request 
And then from there, the, the order data is split into smaller chunks. And then that order data is uh, organized and filtered based on its criteria. And then we have a chat speed module that will convert the time that you provided into UTC format. Uh, and that will be sent over to Square or whatever POS system you guys have. And that will place the order into the POS system. And then lastly, we have Google Sheets. Uh, the information of the order will be logged into Google Sheets just so you could uh, track more efficiently. One last message is sent to Vapi or our AI voice um, software to let them know that this, yeah, this call was successful. So here's some what ifs about voice AI for um, restaurants. What if the AI misunderstands the customer's order and gets it completely wrong? The thing about that is you can train it to um, repeat the final order and it'll ask the customer to repeat the food item if like the AI is unsure what they're talking about. So like sometimes people might use abbreviations, like instead of saying combination pork, they might just say combo pork. The AI will just um, re-clarify with it or just understand it. And second question is, what if the AI struggles with fixed accents or background noises? Uh, will it still process orders correctly? And yeah, the AI will always politely ask the customer to repeat themselves if the AI is unsure what's being said. Um, it doesn't. It won't just like uh, fill in whatever. What if your customers are mostly Spanish speaking, or what if your customers speak a different language? The AI can actually be switched over to a different language, or we handle multiple languages, and it's really professional too. What if the customer calls at the same? Or if two customers call at the same time, and the AI handle multiple calls simultaneously? Uh, yeah. It cash can. That's actually one of the main pain points that the AI solves is that like restaurants, they can't just take multiple calls at one time, but AI can. <laughs> That's a cool thing. But, um, number six, what if the restaurant is out of an item? How does the AI notify the customer? The make automation can actually be adjusted to check the availability of an item through Square or your POS system. It'll run a check through your systems and see, hey, is this item available? Is this quantity of item available? And if it's not, then it'll just send a message back to the automation to let them know. And the automation will let the customer know that, hey, this is not available, please play something else. Um, and our last question is, what if a human staff member needs to step in how seamless is the AI to human handoff? Yeah, if some emergency arises, or if there's something that an AI cannot help with, um, then it'll just forward the call straight to the front desk. The front desk will figure it out themselves. The AI won't actually try to figure out anything complex on its own. This will be just transferred over to a real human so they can do it. All right, so now let's check over to Vapi. We're gonna see, this is, this is where we built the AI voice assistant. So here's our first message. We saw it earlier. Hi there, this is Bambi House. How can I help you? Um, so that's the first thing that's going to be said. And for our system prompt, we have a couple headers. We have role, task, guidelines, uh, no, important notes. And then we, we actually inputted our um, information of the restaurant and the menu. And here at the bottom, we included a example script of how this conversation could turn out. And yeah. So let's dive for fruit. You're an experienced and friendly spiritual system for Bunny House restaurant. Your job is to assist customers with placing food orders for pickup, ensuring a smooth, engaging, and natural conversation. Uh, you maintain a warm, upbeat, and lively personality to enhance the customer's experience. And as for, as for the task, your responsibility includes taking food orders for pickup, uh, answering customer calls about menu and pricing. Uh, and just by the way, I have other model models that can be integrated with this my other models can actually take reservations and this just only takes orders but you can actually like merge them together you just have to take this take the whole system prompt and just slap it together yeah for guidelines they just it just starts off by collecting the customer details like food item name special instructions phone number or preferred pickup time it'll it'll calculate the final cost before finalizing an order and then it'll run a function a me order function which which is the actual back end behind this. Uh, that will actually place the order on the Square website. Uh, here we have some important notes. Don't reformat the time. Maintain a human conversation. If the customer uses the incorrect menu name, gently clarify and use the correct menu name for storing the order. Um, here's our context. Miami mean, House is a well-loved local spot served Vietnamese Miami sandwiches. It includes the address and uh, you don't really need to include the menu or information about the restaurant like on the system prop. There's actually a, there's a knowledge base that you can include. You just slap in a PDF of um, information about your 
restaurant and that's all you need. And um, let's check out our functions. So here we integrated with an API called make.com. Uh, this is our server URL. This is this is where the information for the um, request is going to be sent. And here we have a couple properties or a couple of variables. First, we have our the name of the person. Uh, we have the time that they would like to pick up. We have notes and here's the orders. Within the orders array or like a list of order, it has the item name, it has the quantity, and it has the base price money, which is um, information on the pricing of it. Here we have amounts, and we also have to include US currency and the amount of money. So yeah, that's about it. And we also have to uh, include variable for phone number. So this is how their customer will receive an SMS text message uh, about their receipt or their order. Uh, yeah. So let's take a quick look at the make automation, which is the, the mastermind behind all this. All right, let's take a quick look. So th this is the webhook, which will receive the information from Vappy about the order details. And it will be sent through an iterator, which sp splits up all the information. You, you, you probably remember like all this information. Yeah, it ha it's, it's originally one full like circle, but now you have to split it up into multiple little bit bits. Uh, this is what it does that it comes from one and just splits up. And then we have a tool, a tool which um, it'll it'll check of what it'll check what you ordered and it'll assign it to order ID. So each each menu item has its own unique order ID. Like if the item name is combination pork, it'll be signed to this order ID. This will be needed to use for organization later on. And then after that, this array aggregator it just combines it all back into one piece. And then here we have a chat to be model, which will uh, take the take the time provided by Vappy and it'll convert it into UTC time format. Uh, and the reason we need to do that is because other modules like Square and other modules like Square, it requires UTC format. So yeah, you'll just ask the user what time they would like to pick up the food order. You'll be provided with the current date and their response. You must output their date and time they would like to pick up a photo in date and time format. Only output in ISO 861 format. And here's our user role. This is the current date and time. Uh, this is when the user would like to place the order. So this is our um, dynamic variable. Let me show you guys what a dynamic variable is. So once once the VAPI sent once the VAPI sent over all the data, you can actually like call the call the variable. Or this is this is what we call dynamic variables. Um, let's take a look. So functions, arguments. So here we have all of our variables. We could like reuse it again. So Brian, time, notes. Oops, whoopsies. So this mod, so this module, um, it takes the UTC time format provided by the previous one, and it will convert it into a date and time format. Well, I mean, or, or more readable time format. Okay, yeah, you get it. And then here in our square, we have to, before we actually create the order on the square POS system, you have to create a customer. So we'll input the first name, uh, what else? We'll input the phone number so they can receive a test message, and then we'll input the notes. Okay. And then here we have our create order module. It'll take the customer ID from the previous model we created, and, and it's also connected to our, it's connected to our uh, location ID. So, and here for our order items, we we took the array provided from module six. Let's see, this is module six. This is like the final output. We took that and we sent it over to Square. And what else? Yeah, we we had to pick up. It'll send a message to Square saying, "Hey, you got to pick up this order at this time." And this is a uh, module two, like this. The module two is right here. So we took the output from this, which is a UTC format torn time format, and we logged it into the square. So the shipping is the customer ID from the previous module. And yeah, that's fine. And then finally, we have to iterate all this back. We take the original one, original uh, dynamic variable, and we split it up again. Let's split it up again. And then right here, we have a Google Sheets. This is like one of the last steps of our automation. Uh, it'll, it'll here, it'll look for your um, Google Sheet, your specific Google Sheet. It will, um, it'll include the order ID for like one of the first first values, and then include name, phone number, item names, and the quantity, and the base price, and the total price. 
the total price is just basically quantity times the cost. Yeah. And it'll include the pickup time, special notes, uh, and the catalog ID, object ID. So as you can see, this is this is used for organization. Earlier, we got our um, catalog order ID from here. So each one had its own specific unique ID. And finally, a message is sent to sent to back to Vappy saying, hey, great, your order has been placed successfully. So yeah, that's how the automation works. Um, if you guys want to build one for yourself, I'll leave a link for all the resources. There you can import your my uh, my automation and you could have it for yourself. I'll also include uh, I'll also include my the prompting for this one prompts and I'll include the tool tool information. Yeah. If you're looking to um, build this out and sell it yourself, this can work great for takeout order, takeout places, because like they receive a lot, a lot of calls, especially during hot hours. Like I'm talking about like I don't know, taco places, banh mi, banh, banh mi spots. Um, what else? Pizza places. Pizza places. Yo, pizza restaurants or whatever, they receive a lot of calls, especially for like a lot of like flowing customers. And the cool thing about this is that it's really, really fast integrated. Uh, if I wanted to build this for a restaurant or a bunny shop right now, all I have to do is just switch up the switch up to switch up the prompt a little bit. Um, include switch up the logins for the Square, uh, connect it to their account, and I have to just switch up the menu a little bit, and that's it. It's it's really easy to integrate. You you'd also have to like get them a phone number, which is really cheap, and you just, you ask them to hey, can you put this phone number on your Google Maps? Can you put this phone number on your uh, on your website, yeah. So that's how that's how it works. So if you're a business, so if you're a business owner yourself and you're looking to automate some calls, we can hop on a quick uh, qualification call, or like I could pretty quickly explain if you guys actually need AI voice assistance. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. That's about it. Uh, if you guys want to contact me, I'll leave my LinkedIn uh, in the description. And good luck to you guys. All right, well, see you. Thank you for watching.